So we're gonna open up hive six and take a quick gander at it. This was a swarm. So I'm expecting to see it doing really good. Had a spider on the inside cover. Now we can see a lot of bees right here up top in the super. It's really glued down. Definitely a lot of bees coming and going. So we'll take it up carefully. Yeah, they have drawn out all that comb. You can see the nectar in there. They're definitely bringing in nectar. I can see it on a lot of the frames. It's not capped yet, but it probably will be before long. Yeah, there's quite a few frames. I'm just checking the outside ones. Because some of these frames, they needed to build because they weren't with any comb. And as you can see, they built them out and they are just filling them up. There we go. Smoke them down just a little bit before we take it off. So we can see the bees below. And you can see this is a plastic queen excluder compared to the metal one that I had on the other hive, which was hive 10. I go back and forth because I'm still trying to figure out exactly which one I like better. This is another hive that looks pretty full where it's got eight frames and they're all pretty full so I'm gonna pull this feeder out and I'm gonna add two new frames to it to give them something to do. These were frames that I got off another person that had a lot of damage to them so I cleaned them up and uh, got them looking the best I can. So I'll be placing these on the outside. They're plastic and I've already waxed them. So that way the bees will accept them and build on them. Yeah, that is a heavy frame. That is all nectar and pollen. That is a very heavy frame. So they might need a little bit of room, I'd say, to get going here. All right, look at that brood pattern. Isn't that a gorgeous, gorgeous brood pattern? I don't know if this queen is marked. I mean, it's a swarm, I doubt it. Beekeeping is just a lot of fun to me. The bees are calm most of the time, as long as you treat them right. As long as you don't squash and come on, get out the way. Hurt any bees. Oh, this is a heavy frame. Okay, we have eggs and larvae on this side. A little corner is full of drones that are hatching out. This side has another beautiful pattern of cap brood. Holy cow, look at that. You got a nice brood pattern, but they have got a crazy set of comb here. 
I'm going to try to push that down there. Force them to fix that. Same with this corner here. And I want to show you something here. I took a thing out just so I can show you a mite. So that is a mite working on a drone larvae. So that tells me there's some mites in this hive. So what I'll probably do is treat this hive. So being it was a swarm, they probably have a high mite load. And all you do with Formic is you put it right on top of the brood pattern here. And the temperatures are nice enough to where it's not going to hurt the queen and have her die off. Yeah, see here we got a queen cell. There we go. Because I haven't seen the queen, I'm not going to... Yep, it's charged. So, this hive is feeling cramped. And there's another queen cup right there. So we got a queen cup and a swarm cell building right there. What does she got going on here? Yep, this is a frame full of nothing but brood. Eggs, rather. Eggs and larva. We're looking for our queen. And I do not see her there. Got a couple frames to go. Look at that brood pattern. Holy cow. No wonder they're building excess comb. We can take that right off. They need room to expand. Yep, there's another queen cup. So being I'm gonna give them some room, we do have eggs and larvae. I have not spotted the queen. Oh, that's a heavy frame. More brood. That is capped. Yep. That's why they're getting ready and feel like they need to swarm. So here at hive number six, I didn't notice that the camera cut out, so I don't know how much footage I got. So what we did is we broke open some of the drone cells. We noticed that there were some... Uh, mites on the drones so that just tells me i need to do something about it so i went ahead and i added formic pro to that i went ahead added a medium on here and then i put the super on top with the queen excluded that way they don't feel crowded because they have queen super cells super seizure cells and we don't need them swarming i want them to build this hive so now they got plenty of room and they got a mite treatment on it so let's go to the next one. So we got hive number 14, which we'll take the blocks off so we can get inside here. Make sure the smoker's going, which it is. It says it has a red queen. Woo, look at all them bees. I got a funny feeling they're gonna need room as well. So this is swarm catch number 10. And it has a red queen. So, as you can see, there's quite a bit of bees. I can already see I gotta add something. 
because they're probably looking at swarming. I'm glad I'm getting in there now. So we got a feeder in here. We're gonna try to take that feeder out. Let's get the frame holder here. We got nine frames, so they're gonna be packed in there a little tight with this feeder. So we're gonna to try to do this as gentle as possible without rolling any bees on this frame. There we go. This was an empty frame, and you can see they're building up on it. They haven't touched this side yet though, but I wanna see what we got going here. There are eggs. Wow, look at all those beautiful eggs in that sunlight. I don't know if you can see it, but you got capped honey on the top. That's all new comb on both sides. I'm seeing if there's eggs on this side as well. Not yet, because they're still cleaning them out. Let's see here. Nope, that's all nectar up there. So this side has got eggs. So that queen is definitely in here. So I'm just checking, making sure there's no queen cells because it is quite packed. Ooh, that's a heavy frame and you can see the brood pattern I don't see the red queen there's another healthy brood pattern of cat brood and look at that you got the honey on the top that's capped brood all the way around little bit of bee bread on the outer edge not a whole lot and there's our queen there's our red queen right there little girl but man is she doing good so let's get her back inside here let's just keep going along here really quick so we can see just how well they're doing how much room they need that's all brand new comb you can see the dark pollen on the outside there right there no eggs on that side but there are eggs on this side and larva okay so I'm slowly getting these out of here so I can get to where I can remove that feeder to add another frame and again that's all bee bread it's all bee bread Whew, look at all that a lot of pollen a lot of eggs I'm hoping you can look in there and see all those eggs in there Yeah, this queen is really going to town. So, this looks like a heavy frame. And it is. Oh yeah, it definitely is. It's a fat one too. This is all larva, almost ready to get capped. And the same on this side so i'm not even going to look at any more frames here because it's so full and we're going to push all these frames back over give them a little more smoke knock them back down in to so get down girls
Let's get this frame back in there. All right, so we're here again. High 14, swarm number 10, has a red queen. I took out the feeder because they're gathering nectar so I can give them a 10th frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna space it. That way they got that on there. And now I'm gonna add a medium for them to grow into. But because this is a swarm, just like the last one, it's probably gonna have a high mite load. So I'm gonna treat it because I won't be pulling any honey off of this one or the last hive. So I'm gonna put some Formic Pro on this one as well. So hive 14 here was a swarm. It was my 10th swarm that was caught. It's got a red queen. And because the last swarm had a high mite load, I don't know what this one has. So I'm just gonna treat it anyways. It's not like I'm gonna be drawing any honey off of these two this year. I'm just building them up. So we went ahead and added one deep frame. We also added a medium box and we got the Formic Pro on top of the brood chamber so it'll knock down uh, any mites that are in this, hopefully. So now we're just gonna move on down to Hive 8 and Hive 7. 